All right. It is water sign time. Okay. Three zodiac sign in one video. I hope everyone's doing well. April 2020. This is the reading coming up for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now, for all of you three water signs, I'm pulling. I'm going to look in the book because I have a mess with this card. This card. A friend gave it to me, and they're really big cards. It's the inner child cards, okay? A journey into fairy tales, myths, and nature, okay? So each of these cards has to do with um, the traditional tarot deck. So I don't, I, I can look at one of the pictures and tell, you know, this is the fool. The fool one I can, you can automatically tell, okay? So I'm going to set the intention. I'm going to pull a card for all you wonderful water signs. I was shuffling this a lot. Guardians, guardian of wands. Okay, I know it's wands. Okay, so guardian of wands. I'm going to show you the picture. There's a butterfly at the top. There's a fairy looking down at the planet Earth. Okay, I'm going to, I haven't done my nails. I have quarantine nails. So a lot of people, they can't work right now like the, um, you know, you go to the nail shop and so lose your license, right? So I, I'm doing my own nails again. I ordered some gel nail polish. So I'm waiting for that to come in. But I love how the dip keeps my nails strong. And my nails can grow, but they'll break. But little girly stuff. Okay. But um, I'm going to paint these black. I, that's my favorite nail polish to paint, paint my nails or sparkle silver. <laughs> Sparkly silver. <laughs> All right. So beautiful water signs. I love cancers. Okay. So gu guard oh, guardian of wands. Please, guardian of wands. Okay, focus. Guardians of wands. Are we all like this? Guardian. Who, what does the guardian represent? Guardian of wands. That's Archangel Raphael. Oh, yes, guardians of wands. Raphael. I love my angel. Um, I used to have the angel cards until I still have them, even though she stopped making them. My intuition was right years ago, but I still love the cards. Um, so Guardians of Wands, Raphael, okay? And you think of Raphael, you think of um, protection, you think of um, love and heart and sending love to the earth. On 4-4-2020, on, on the fourth of the month, um, there was a, a earth portal, right, for meditation. And what that was, because a lot of, I don't, I don't like when people do spiritual talk and they don't give me the information. That, that, you know, like, what's the actual, um, you know, what's the actual meaning of the day? I'll tell you in a second. So, you guys, this video is going to be long, because if I have to look up something, then, oh, my bad. Then I got to look it up. But this card is, um, ha has to do with Archangel Raphael, okay? So, um, you are being blessed by the presence of divine healing, Okay, and and waters and and cancer and all water signs take advantage of the twenty second of April coming up because that's going to be um, Pluto uh, quintile uh, Chiron and Chiron is about healing the healer that can't heal themselves but can heal others but with Pluto in there Pluto is death and transformation so I feel Pluto will give that healing to self but also everyone sending out healing to everyone else, we're all going to receive healing. That's how I'm going to work um, the 22nd of April, but I'm going to do a video on that. But but this is Archangel Raphael just sending down healing, and I, I feel like you can pull that down. You can work with Ra, the sun god of Ra, the Egyptian god of Ra, okay? They have that in this book right here when you're working uh, with Raphael. The name Raphael actually means God's heals, okay? God heals. And you can work with the sun god Ra as well and the ruler of Sunday, okay? And you can... Um, you can you can be received and your message can be received fully through heart chakra meditation. Okay, boom! I like this. I'm gonna have to mess with this book. The four arch the four archangels: Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Okay, yeah. Ew, ew, ew. I think I like it. Uh, 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 uh. Any struggles of the soul that you have on Earth, you can tap into Archangel um, Gabriel to help and um, at springtime, he reveals great gifts 
um, when the sun passes through um, Aries in March and April, you know, while the earth is opposite the sun, moving through harmonious vibrations of Libra. Bam, bam, this is really cool. Very cool card book. They're not being published anymore. So if the author is watching this, definitely try and republish this. This is a um, really beautiful, beautiful deck. If my uh, good friend wants this back, I mean, I'll give it back to her. But like, damn, that's really cool book. Okay. I feel very blessed uh, to have that. All right, Cancer. Cancer, oh, I was looking up um, planetary movements, okay? So what happened on the 24th? Um, I have to do several videos because it can't, all the information I have can't fit into one. It's just going to be too much, right? The fourth was Jupiter uh, conjunct Pluto. Jupiter is receiving blessings, right? And Pluto is about death and transformation. So anyone that is passed on, we're sending healing. It's kind of like the name Shanti, which is peace to the living and peace to the dead. So it's like the four, on the 4th of April, um, which was a special day for me, someone's birthday, um, it's, it was a time to really pull in healing, even from the North Star. In Qigong, they teach that in healing. If, you, if you're, no matter what age you are, if you, when, when this quarantine is done, definitely take a medical Qigong class because it's very powerful. And the movement and the visualization and the self-healing. And also Tai Chi, Reiki, yoga, like whatever's calling to you. But on that day, is pulling down celestial energy and that portal to earth for, for, for blessings, right? Blessings so that you you um, send out healing so others won't die to lessen that, but also to um, to bless those that have passed on. Okay, I can go on and on. That's why I need to make different videos. Okay, so cancer. Let's. So that's what the meaning of that that four four was. Okay, because a lot of times we do spiritual talk, but don't break it down to the planetary meaning. So on the twenty second, it's about healing yourself. Right, healing everyone that is alive right now is where you want to focus. That Pluto uh, is healing everyone right now, especially people working in the medical field, the field that I used to work in. Okay, and sending that out, and you know, friends and family that are working in the medical field. See, I was going to go back to phlebotomy, and I, I um, or to it. Because I, well, I'm sure I know how to draw blood, but I was just going to do another training. I was going to start doing that back in January, and something was like, just hold off. And I'm happy that I didn't. Oh, don't be afraid. My cat just ran in. He heard the garbage truck, and he just ran in, like, all scared. He's a scared cat. He never goes outside. He just goes out there and, and then sits under the rose bush and then runs that way. All right. Cancer, here's your card. Your card. Okay, so Cancer, you are working. If you're a Cancer that is working, you are really making sure that you are using your money towards something that is meaningful right now and even to the future, okay? So it's really, you should be planning ahead if you're not planning ahead. All your work that you're doing should be you um, really getting yourself ready. It's about getting ready. Get ready, okay? The emperor is telling you to know where you're going. Know where you're going. Where do you need to go? Just planning ahead, okay? Trust your intuition. Not always what things are being said, but really trusting your intuition. What do you feel? What do you know? What's going on, okay? The king of swords. The king of swords is saying, okay, really be a master of your words and... and um, you're you're going to it's kind of like you're playing a game of chess with someone right and you know it's like if you want to roast someone if they say something but having sense of humor i was talking to a, 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 one cancer a cancerian and it's like you know you, you you diffuse the situation by if someone if you if someone's getting bullied you kind of turn it on you and say hey that person can't take my throne or something like that i'm the whatever whatever and then it diffuses the situation, right? Or, um, you know, just uh, being saucy back to, or, or sassy back to someone else. So it's really diffusing the situation. So really being a king in your own right, 
and, and really handling the situation. Some of you guys have that naturally, but others will need to overcome the fear of um, the situation and really handle it the best way that you can. So using your words to really create your reality as well, okay? And some of you are really enjoying this um, to really go within. Some of you are natural homebodies. Others, you don't like, like most of us, you don't like to be forced into being a hermit, <laughs> right? So it's like, what can you learn from this and how can you utilize your time right now the best way you can, right? While you're moving through your own um, situation, okay? So let's see what creator energy is coming through and what the message is. Okay, okay, Sitch. I, I think it's, it's not Sitch because I remember when I, I was like, how the heck do I say this? S-I-G-E. Okay, and it's one. And if you're if you're a birth sign one, that means that you are a leader. You work well by yourself. You work better as a boss. Um, it's about silence. So there's power in silence. So even if you go into meditation or in the morning or at night, right before bed, it's like how can you make silence a part of your practice and and receive messages, right? You're a water sign, so you're very intuitive, Cancer. So how can you receive, receive, receive messages? Right, and and that that's that's where you can solve a lot of of your questions or problems that you're facing. Mm -hmm. So these two drops, so I'm gonna use them. It's um, diamonds. It's earth. Five of diamonds, which is about financial change, maybe a positive change for you, a new job, or um, a negative change for some of you. And for some of you, it's an unexpected ex expense. Okay, so just make sure you're thinking ahead. For your financial situation, some of you will have, um, I know that a lot of jobs are on a, a hiring freeze that, you know, depends on what the job is. Um, and, and shout out to all the fast food workers and, and everyone out there. But like new job, a negative change for some of you. Some of you is unexpected change and hopefully it's more of a positive change with that five of um, diamonds. Okay. So the, the, the spade, the 10 of spades is air energy in the mind, okay? And it's working with the sword energy, where the diamonds is working with the pentacles, the money energy, okay? So the spade is working with the, 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 the sword, the word, the air energy, okay? So be mindful more of your he any health problems or any fears about it or any bad news or worry or grief is what this card represents, okay? Worry and grief any kind of bad news or um, fears or any any health problems. So really make sure that you're herbing yourself. You're doing what it is that you need to do for your body, for your mind, okay? So that's the reading for Cancer, the zodiac sign. We're going to go into Scorpio. Scorpios, how are you guys doing, right? How are you guys holding up, right? If you want to timestamp this video, if you watch it, um, you know, sometimes you'll have people that will timestamp things. That's really awesome. I appreciate it. Um, you know, that's really good. Make sure that you click like so that others can see um, the channel. You know, they can see see it. Some people didn't click the bell even though they subscribe and then they, they, they forget or they're like, oh, I don't remember the name of the channel. So your comments do help the algorithm for us YouTubers. Okay, so let's see what Scorpio's message is for April, okay? Ooh, we think we got a rock. Okay, so Scorpio, you guys are all about really setting yourself free. You really want to find time to go do something that you want to do for fun. And the best way that you guys can do this is go for a walk, um, go into nature, you know, um, you know, try to be somewhere where you feel safe, but you're, you're doing something different and you're not going stir crazy. Okay. And your friends can help with this. You know, the more you communicate, the more you talk, the more you stay creative and busy is going to be good for you. Okay. So it's just feeling safe outside. Some of you don't feel safe leaving where you are. Some of you feel safer if you just stay inside, but you know, do what you feel is right. Um, some of you will be experiencing um, just feeling like, you know, you're on the outs, right? And it's just a short, a short feeling. Some of you might be more concerned about where you're going to live and so on. And that's, uh, that's, 
a tough situation if, if that's what you're going through. But just know that you have to maintain your strength through it and moving forward, right? Moving forward and also planning ahead. When the Knights come in, they're fighters. So this one is about planning ahead. You know, this even if you feel like you showed up late to something or you feel like it's a shock, you can pull yourself in and then just start taking small steps and just stop with anything that's weakening you. Anything that is like holding you back. This is your time to really um, let it go, okay? Um, anything that you feel has more power over you that you are doing. Maybe you're wasting your time with an obsession that's not really beneficial right now, you know? I can think of it like, you know, anything that will weaken the immune system. Like for some people, some people, they can drink and they, this one older guy was like, yeah, I never got sick. You know, and then for some people, drinking too much can weaken your immune system. So it's really making the best choices for yourself and really putting yourself first in, in a positive way, not in a selfish way. Okay, so let's see what goddess energy is coming through. I like these. Okay, Black Madonna, 26. Okay, that's eight, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so eight is an infinite cycle of what? Of the... Um, the infinite. When you when you think of the Black Madonna, you think of the First Mother. You think of the um, the the un the unmanifested all, right? Everything that's yet to be created. Okay, um, primal. That's the that's the the core, the first, the primal energy, right? So tap into that ancestor energy, that 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 original mother creator energy, the universe, right? The heart chakra, the womb, the third eye, the healing touch. Like all of that, that's like an infinite connection to what is. You can't change what is, right? You can deny it, and you can't change it. Tap into that, that mother goddess. I know a lot of, I've, I've, I've met someone that um, really loves the Black Madonna, which is the original um, Egyptian mother goddess. Okay, um, um, I don't want to say the Greek word, so it's um, Ishtar. It's, it's um, why am I blanking on her name? Aset, okay, it's Aset, okay. And going back to just the original um, goddess mother, right? Okay, so we have four of stays, which is air, which is swords, okay? Uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, you guys are fighters. So Scorpio, this one is um, professional problems, right? Material problems. So just mind your 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 money and, um, you know, just do the best you can right now. Don't make things more difficult than they need to be. Um, okay, so whatever doesn't work with your job, it doesn't work. You know, just keep your, keep your mind as strong and as focused as you can, because the four the four of states is reminding you of the power of your mind and your words. So whenever you get a negative card or, or a problem card, you enact your mind to learn the lesson that you need to learn, to learn patience through it, to learn power through challenges, and then move yourself forward. Okay, that's the best thing that we can do because if we miss if we miss learning the lesson, not everything's going to be perfect all the time, and we don't want bad, bad, really bad times. But if we can learn through what we're going through, then we don't have to um, experience it again and again, right? We can actually whoa, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I cannot be dropping all these cards, right? Setting goals for yourself. The Seven of Cups is like knowing what you want and set a, a positive mind for yourself. Like, you know what you want. Know what you want and know that you can get it, right? Yes. And you guys got, like, the the original mother. And if, if, if you got that card and you're like, who's the Black Madonna? And, and what is this? Like, really look into it. You know, that's maybe something that you um, can really look into, right? And, and um... That's the original one, and then all these goddesses are based off of her through through travel, migration, whatever. Okay, so 
setting the tone right now for Pisces. Okay, Pisces, your reading. Remember, Archangel Raphael healing to your life. You're part of the world, the entire world. All right? Think about that butterfly in the cocoon, in the cocoon, and then it um, changes into a butterfly. So you think about that transition, right? That healing. That going within to heal and to grow. And then to manifest into that butterfly. Okay, so Pisces. You're starting off with friendship, negative friendship and negative um, experiences. If you know that someone is no good for you, if you know that there's a a problem, trust that intuition. Whenever you get the Ten of Swords, there's some kind of mistrust there. So you'll know what that mistrust is. Here comes the angel again, temperance. Whatever that betrayal was or that misunderstanding or negative purpose behavior, you have the temperance, you have time, you have a balance, you have healing, okay? You have um, that sun energy. Again, sun meditating might be really good for you today and on the, on the new moon, which is on the 7th or the 8th, depending on your location. The new moon is tomorrow, the 7th, because today is the 6th. So temperance is all about patience and balance and really putting yourself back on the path of caring about yourself, right? And knowing that you are the temple within, within your heart, you are the temple, right? Really caring about yourself and, and the, having that sun meditation, really good. That sun meditation is meditating on yourself, healing yourself. Look up what the planetary meaning for the sun is. I sh I'll share that on my Instagram. I'll share that in my dialogue. Um, what do you call it here on, on YouTube? the um, discussion room, okay? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is, is you have the Queen of Cups, you have four of, of, um, of wands, and you have six of cups. So right now it's about you realizing who's not good for you in your life. Really work on yourself, healing yourself, and working on your personality, your emotions, your, your fears, your doubts, because, you know, especially if, if, if something is too heavy for you, give yourself breaks so that it, you don't consume it so much. Because a lot of my Piscean friends and, 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 and um, or not say friends, I don't think I, I don't have a lot of Piscean friends, but Piscean's acquaintances and, and people that will, will, will come for, for coaching or, or want to learn something or just wants to tap in more because they already have it all. Pisces, you guys are amazing. Um, the, 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 the the world can feel like too much, so you have to give yourself your breaks when you need to. So there's a lot of compassion and a lot of healing for yourself, a lot of compassion and self-healing. There's a lot of um, uh, future thoughts of happiness, even marriage or ceremony. But for now, you might have to do those things distantly, like a distant wedding or something, you know, or, or postponing a wedding or postponing a very beautiful celebration, even graduation. You know, all of these uh, plans will have to be postponed, okay? And protecting yourself, protecting your own, own mind's innocence or your child or maybe um, reminiscing on happier times. But, you know, just learning lessons that will be good for yourself. So a lot of you will be going through different emotions that is um, relearning from your childhood or understanding from your childhood or, or feeling protective like, you know, finding your life purpose of what you need to do, appreciating now and appreciating your future. Let's see what goddess flow energy is going to pop through with a message for y'all. What, what, what? The other Mary shows up. The other Mary is like, hey, remember me? <laughs> so this is the Mary after the Black Madonna. So this is 24. So six is opening a new path, right? 24 is six opening a new path of mother, of purity, of um, um, intercession, okay? So how can you be, be of use for others, right? How can you clear your own mind? How can you tap into your mother energy, right? So I feel like it goes along with the, with the Six of Cups card where it's reminiscing of childhood or protecting a child from, from the roughness of the world, 
is the original meaning in this tarot. It, it's also reminiscing and, and the sweetness and the, and, and the kindness of a child. We can learn from the kindness of people who are younger than us, like from children, right? So it's really setting that energy, that tone of, um, of really being, it's kind of like a Kuan Yin kind of vibe, but um, different, you know? But it's like just how, because I feel like this version of Mary is recognized, but not it as um, respected as it should in, in all levels, right? It's kind of like a, a watered down version, you know, meaning that it's not um, giving the, the the highest regard in a sense. But but it, it kind of is because I, I um, you know, used to go to Catholic school with my siblings or, or, or church, you know. But so she's recognized very much in the Catholicism more than any other Christian denomination. So it's like recognizing the work of the mother and the compassion of, of the mother, you know, and through that compassion, there's strength and it's balancing off the compassion not to be walked all over, but there's there's the um, the, the compassion and the, the, the work, all of the work it takes to, to, be, to be mothering, right? In the most positive way, not in a negative, because people like to use it in a negative connotation. But it's not the negative, it's the positive, the beautiful aspect of it. So let's see what the card has to say. So make sure that, you know, Pisces, your time and your energy, it's like you can't make sure that it is in certain cases because sometimes people don't appreciate what they should. But just know that what you do is appreciated. Okay, that's it, right? Okay, so we have queen. Whoa, the queens are coming out. They're like boom, boom, boom. So this is spade, okay? This is, again, air, the sword, the tongue, the mouth, right? Love, okay, whose love... Okay, so if someone is very gossipy, right? This is, this represents a person that's gossipy. And and it's okay to gossip if you're, if you're talking and just sharing news. There's a sharing news and like, oh, you know, I've been through that and hopefully this person learns to do this and... And that doesn't, like you're saying it in a, in a positive way. But there's a lot of people out there that, okay, I don't know, just, that just gossip just to be horrible, right? So this is a sophisticated woman, could be successful, but is not a good person. A bleep, 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 okay? Loves to party and loves to gossip, but they're just like the negative um, representation of that. So really see people for who they are. Whenever that, that card pops up, it's about seeing people for who they really are, Right? Not what you wish them to be, not like living in a fairy tale of what you think something should um, should be, okay? Just see things for, for what it is and see a person for who they really are whenever that comes up. Because if, if someone's like that, they're truly not a happy person, okay? So that's the reading for Pisces. That's all of the cards now. All, I, it's four videos with, with, with all of the elements in it. So the next video that I'm going to be working on is going to be the new moon video of how you can tap into that energy, what it means. I think that's the next one I'm going to do for this channel. And the other one that I'm going to do for this channel, look out for it. I was thinking about making a 5G one, but like, I don't know. Because I, I know the tower is going up down the street from me. By the CBS, like there was one like in January, and I was like, what, what are they doing? And then when I Google it, I go, oh, that's what they look like, because they all look different. Some of them are kind of like like long and kind of brown. Um, it's just another, anyway. Um, I feel like doing a video on Mars since it's ruled by um, Aries, I'm not sure. But then the other one that I'm definitely going to do is I want to do the April 22nd video. But before that, I want to do the full moon one. That way I'm sticking with the moons. And then I'll probably do Mercury enters Aries on the 11th of, of April. And it could be the 10th in my area, but I have to find a planetary chart that I can do my, my location. So this one I'm basing off of um, Eastern Standard Time. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Happy April. Please click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. What, what do us YouTube people say? Um, comment. If you, you know, it, it, it feels good to have a, a, a conversation in, in a sense. So I hope you guys enjoy 
the, the um, videos. I'm going to do, I'm going to cross video here. This is lavender and I love the scent of lavender. So it's very calming and relaxing. So one of my first um, oils that I would use in sessions back in the day. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace.